You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. You know, I'm going to play the Crazy Like Alex Jones uh, extended cut. I'm going to come back, actually hit the news that I've mentioned but haven't covered yet. It's epic. It's very important. I'll overuse that word, but everything really is epic right now. And then we are going to open the phones up and take your calls for the transmission. We have a special report on the one-year anniversary of the occupational government folding and backing down at Bundy Ranch. Uh, that's coming up. David Knight will be in studio with some brief commentary with me as well at the bottom of the hour in the third hour. But here he is, uh, part of Crazy Like Alex Jones. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. <laughs> He's the T Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN radio network. Let's just go through this stack right now. 21 pages of Obamacare tax instructions. IRS demands shared responsibility for payment and says it's in their prerogative, of course, whether they're going to start garnishing wages, grabbing bank accounts, or holding back tax returns. <laughs> of course, they promised you that wouldn't happen. This is a government under Obama that ships guns to the Mexican drug cartels. You think they're going to gang rape you? Oh, yeah. Everything is awesome. Everything is fantastic when you're part of a team. Everything is wonderful when you're part of the dream. Will the fact that Hillary is a lesbian have any bearing in the 2016 elections? I I'm just wondering. I'm just throwing that out there as well. I can wear this as a leotard. I mean... I mean, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're being invaded by South American walruses. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The government is shipping in 42,000 people. <laughs> bigger than job of the hunt. <laughs> this country is so screwed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but it's reaching a proportion. If you're a radio listener, you can't see him. <laughs> oh, oh my God, look at this. <laughs> oh, God. I don't think I've ever laughed this hard on air. Oh, my God, I mean, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> Alex Jones may sound crazy, but still has 300 million YouTube. Uh, uh, well, he had 300 million people that have watched him on 800 YouTube. 800 million. And that sort of fringe, arch conservative, uh, deeply, I think, racist strain is, is being tapped into. I just got called racist by MSNBC. And I wasn't hurt that they called me names myself. I was hurt that they were so evil. That they were such a pack of willful crooks preying on America with their trendy, non-threatening voices and, 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 and ironic glasses. All meant by PSYOP generals to annihilate this country. So you traitors claiming I'm a Ruski agent, say it to my face and I'll break your nose. I'm sick of it. I will stomp your head in the ground, you traitorous maggots. While we go under Obamacare, North American Union, conquered by European banks, announcing our kids don't belong to us, total bondage, total surveillance, and you want to shoot your mouth off about me being a Ruski agent, I will stomp your head in the ground. It's the time of the season to get raped because you like to lay down. Yay, yay, yay. A nation of sheep will be ruled by what? Wolves. Oh, woofies. They do investigations and say, oh, there are no FEMA camps. Because they're not called FEMA camps. They're called Emergency Centers Establishment Act. They're called Civilian Inmate Labor Camp Program. They're called Rex 84, Continuity of Government under National Police Stabilization Force, RAND Corporation. I'm just giving you bam, 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 the plan. In every tragedy, the InfoWars Alex Jones world thinks they see a conspiracy. Alex Jones should be disqualified from participating in Republican Party politics. That's right. No one will go to the New York Times or care that it's even admitted that the government's hatching most of the terror plots. 
or people will say, what are you doing? Endorsing radical Islam, saying it doesn't exist? I didn't say that. I said our criminal government is arming We're going to be right back with the actual song. Stay with us. Protecting Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market. Extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules. You will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue. Now available in our limited first run at InfoWarsLife.com. Com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. Hey, how you doing, Al? Good, brother. Just recently started using your products. Everything you said about them is correct. Me and my wife both use a lot of them, and it's made a lot of changes in our lives here. Well, thank you, brother, because it also funds our operation. But doing that, I know I've got to have the highest quality. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. We do the Super Male and the Super Female Vitality. Big changes, a lot of energy. We've gotten off of the cheap energy drinks, energy shots. Saving a ton of money there. Sourced from powerful organic herbs, harvested around the planet, and then concentrated for maximum potency. They want to stun and dumb down, and energy drinks and stuff just cover that up for a while, but then burn you out, in my experience, whereas stuff that gets your glands naturally going goes right to the source. So it's pretty exciting, and I love it. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. But see, this is a normal response to being gang raped by criminals. I want to be crazy, crazy like Alex Jones. Oh, man. <laughs> and have enough gumption without a presumption to know what's going on. <laughs> and then I can throw bananas at the global clowns and hear aristocratic moans. I want to be crazy, crazy oh, like oh, Alex oh, Jones. Oh, oh, oh. I went looking one day on the internet just to see what I could find. When I heard this talk show maniac, he was proudly speaking his mind. It was real wild, but the more I heard it, it made a whole lot of sense to me. I want to thank you, Alex, for opening my eyes and helping the blind to see. I want to be crazy, crazy like Alex Jones. Have enough gumption without a presumption to know what's going on. And I can throw bananas at the global clouds and hear aristocratic moans. I wanna be crazy, crazy like Alex Jones. Up, up, and away! Our talk show host is Alex Jones. He's a he's a conspiracy theorist. He's kind of like the, the guru, the, the you know the king of the conspiracy theorists. The TSA has a thankless job forcing procedures we all tolerate through gritted teeth. A popular target. No kidding. Who else wants a job groping men, women, and children all day? All the talking heads on the TV screen with an arrogance of fisting. 
Challenge Alex Jones to a boxing match, show up with a semi-automatic that you got legally, and pop him. I'd love to see that. <laughs> In uniform. <laughs> 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. I probably own more than 50 firearms. Many of them have increased in value two, three, or even four times. I sleep very comfortably. One of the least attractive groups of demonstrators I've ever seen. I can throw bananas at the global clowns and you're aristocratic I am David Mentrus. Crazy, crazy like that. Be quite clear, David Mentrus from the third. Yeah, well, crazy, crazy like Alex Jones. <laughs> we'll be right back in Overdrive. Infowars.com. See you this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Central, Central. Telemundo. Muchas gracias. The Genesis Communications Radio Network. You know, Darren McBreen made that a few months ago. One of our great newsmen, but also editors. He's a journalist. I guess I hired him away from what was his Scripps Howard News Service. He's a great editor. And he put that together. I thought it was one of the most epic things to overuse that word again, but that is powerful. Over the top things he'd made. And then we just put it in the computer and never played it. So we'll air the entire thing coming up at the start of the next hour. If you missed it, because we also cut part of it out because of the break. I'm going to air the uh, Crazy Like Alex Jones 2.0. And the point in airing that was I was calling for the old one. It's like five years old. Just the original song. And they said, oh, you mean the new one? And I went, oh, I forgot about that. Did we ever air that? So that is coming up at the start of the next hour. And then we have an extremely powerful historical video. That is the day the feds blinked. Uh, the second shot heard around the world wasn't bullets, but it was a shot of fear. As the people stood up and rode up against feds with guns saying, we will shoot you. David Knight was there marching at the head with his video camera with Josh Owens. And I want to get both of these men in here at, say, 20 after next hour to talk a little bit before we air this video uh, that Rob Jacobson just put together one year later, because that's why Harry Reid came out and said, these are terrorists, you will pay, you will fall. Well, now he's fallen on his face, literally, and he's not running again, and he now is acting like he's suddenly senile. And I'm sad for folks when they start losing their mind, but I'm not going to cry when Harry Reid drifts off into oblivion and his sons with all their Chinese and globalist New World Order insider contracts, you know, I'm still, they'll still do fine stealing people's property, in my view. So that's coming up today. This is the one-year anniversary uh, of the April 13th event. Now, remember, the globalists love to blow stuff up and burn down churches and bomb federal buildings and things like that on April 19th or April 20th. That was their way of staging the Boston bombing to blame the patriots, and it went sideways, so they changed the story to Islamicists and burned some infiltrators, young infiltrators they'd hired uh, pretty sick how they did that. Speaking of burning young infiltrators, I'm going to get uh, coming up at the bottom of the hour into a story out of the Houston Chronicle. And that deals with uh, the police officer who was cop of the year. And I had it here in my stack, guys. Just print it again since so I can't find it. Thanks. Cop of the year got caught trying to sell five kilos of cocaine, supposedly. Now, the Houston Police Department is so scary. Probably one of the most scary police departments in the country. So infiltrated with hit men and CIA and you name it, because they're down on the border. I, I mean, I've got so much intel in the Houston Police Department that I bet you a lot of money that this cop of the year wasn't paying his cut up above him, made the CIA mad, asked for more money like Noriega did. Houston police officers face up to life in prison over drug charges. And he was cop of the year. Cop of the year in Houston, one of the biggest police departments in the country. Supposedly, he got busted by the Drug Enforcement Agency, along with the FBI and the Houston PD. Trying to sell five kilos of cocaine. The DEA, it came out in Congress in 97 with the Inspector General of the CIA. It's been all over the news since the 60s. It's a fact that the Drug Importation Agency, better known as the Drug Enforcement Agency, 
that the, that the drug import